yeah. you've done very well with Aishwarya in the past, Jodha Akbar, Dhoom 2, and now this one. So you must be feeling like, okay, great, you know, we, we are successful together, chemistry works. I don't mm. think it's the chemistry that makes a film work. Mm. Um, I think um, before starting any film, any two good actors have mm. to uh, reset themselves to zero, you know, yeah. and um, begin again from scratch, mm. em empty mm. yourself out. And, you know, you can't, you can't rest on, on, on the laurels. Yeah, of yeah. the past. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. and I, I think somewhere Ash and myself, yeah. our approach to our work is somewhere similar. Yeah, similar. So I don't think she also came with the attitude yeah. that, oh, you know. Uh, Rithik Ram Gopal Arma said on a social networking site that he can't stand the sight of Aishwarya brushing your teeth. So what is your reaction to that? I don't know, he must be having his reasons. I know that he, he loves me and he wishes me the best. Uh, mm -hmm. that's, that's for certain. Uh, so I don't know the, you know, mm -hmm. I don't know the, the, the context yeah. Uh, in, in which he uh, must have said that, I so I can't really comment on it. But I know he, he only wishes me the best, so I don't uh, have any cause for concern. No, because I think he said uh, somewhere recently that you're too much of a superhero in the eyes of the public mm -hmm. to have someone else do your, your work for you. Well, that works for the film because I think this is uh, the strongest superhero I have played in my life. Yeah. He is he is beyond a superhero. Okay. And that's that's uh, the strength that comes from trying to portray what uh, these people actually are about, the quadriplegics. Okay. The kind of power that they have and the kind of dignity that they have and the kind of courage that they have. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's, you know, yeah. being able to smile through all your problems is, is a different kind of superpower. It is. And that's a power that we all actually have inside of us. Well said. And, and, and this is the kind of film that will show you how to access that power. That's what this film is about. Is it true that initially you went into a depression playing this character initially and then you came out of it? Yes, of course. The first uh, month and a half, it was, it was a kind of a, uh, just a, you know, kind, kind of just a, like a right. darkness that, that I had to uh, understand. You know, I had to get myself to understand mm. what it would feel like. Mm. And then to accept that and then to rise above that. And then to you know uh, uh, have have that mountain of of emotions under all the smiles, mm -hmm. you know to be able to portray that you have to first understand the mountain of emotion. Right. If you don't, so I don't think I was depressed. Mm -hmm. I think every time that I I came out of of uh, a chat with uh, one of my friends uh, who were the patients. I think somewhere there was um, there was brightness mm. um, with the understanding of life, you know. Mm. Mm. So I don't think it was depression. I think it it was just a you know an exercise that that yes took me into right. the mm. uh, darkness, but also through that made me feel brighter than mm. I've ever felt mm. in my life. And you're going to be like emulating another superhero, Amitabh Bachchan. You're stepping into his shoes for Agni Pat. No, no, I'm, I'm not going to make any such uh, mistake. I'm not <laughs> going to be stepping into anybody's uh, shoes, least of all the man himself. Uh, uh, and the reason I say that is because, uh, well, the, the script uh, is, a, is a little different than, than what you're imagining. Okay. So, you know, we'll only tell when, when the film is out. And what's happening with Krish 2? Uh, Krish 2 is... It's actually Krish 3, you know, actually. Actually. Because <laughs> um, it's Koi Milia, yeah. uh, Krish, and now Krish Part 3. Working on it, Dan has a couple of ideas, and he mm. also has um, some new ideas, uh, mm. which are not uh, Krish, something else. He's still, you know, he's working on them simultaneously. Whichever one, uh, you know, uh, wins uh, yeah. will be made. Tell me, is it true that you almost said no to Guzarish? Yeah, no, I, I was fully, you know, I planned in my head that no, no, it's not the right time for me to work with uh, someone like him. You know, because I know that whatever vision he will come with, uh, will, will, uh, I will not be capable of it, you know, uh, to portray it. And uh, he came and he sat down, Mr. Bansali came to my house and he sat down and he said, well, in five minutes he narrated the mm. idea. Mm. And in those five minutes, he made me laugh and he made me cry yeah. within five minutes. And something about this uh, concept was just, you know, just bypassed the mind and went straight to my heart. And I heard my heart just blurt out the words, yes, oh, when do we start? Another part of the magic was when Sanjay Leela Bansali taught you how to dance. Is it he's, a, he's, he's, a, he's a fantastic <laughs> dancer. Yeah, better than you. Oh, yeah, in the kind of stuff that he does. Uh, he, He's definitely better than me. He could surely teach me <laughs> quite a few uh, things in dancing. Because he has such, such a fabulous sense of rhythm.
Yeah. You know, and he's so musical minded. He's a creator. That, uh, just, just doing steps does not really mean that you are, hmm. you know, an o overall uh, fantastic hmm. dancer. Hmm. Uh, you know, that's your agility of the body and that you can sense the music through hmm. your body and stuff. But to have a mind hmm. that can actually see the music is, is something else. And that's hmm. what he has. You voted India's sexiest dad. How does it? Well, you know, for <laughs> for all the dads, I and mean, we still consider it sexy. That's that's nice. <laughs> How do you rate the physiques of these people, uh, these stars and friends of yours, Abhishek Bachchan? Well, I think Abhishek has got this languid power to his hmm. uh, body, which is, you know, it's really attractive, and that is something that I actually, I actually have uh, tried to emulate. Uh, hmm. I don't think many people know this, but. Uh, um, in a, a film like Dhoom, hmm. you know, um, I used to watch him a lot. Hmm. Hmm. And uh, we used to, in fact, have chats hmm. where he used to talk to me about stuff like composure, hmm. you know. And I imbibe a lot from him hmm. Hmm. for my character. I think I'd give him a 10. Yeah. Absolutely. Salman. Uh, again, a 10. John. Oh, man. They all, they all, are you talking about all 10s here? Yeah, yeah Ranbir, all of them. 10. And uh, tell me, uh, like, how was it working with, like, Aishwarya Rai earlier, um, earlier now Aishwarya Rai Bachchan, you know? Well, the beauty of our relationship is that I think uh, nothing has changed, you know. We mm -hmm. were uh, friends from the uh, word go, mm -hmm. uh, from our first shot, and um, mm -hmm. nothing has changed. And that's what is wonderful. Okay. It's wonderful to have a co-star who, um, you know, shares your passion mm -hmm. and works towards, you know, the final goal of a film okay. selflessly. Yeah. Tell me, what if you woke up one day, like your character, and found you were fat? There must be a re reason for why I am fat. Maybe I'm unwell, or maybe I've been lazy. <laughs> so everything can be reversed. It's not a problem. As long as you're healthy. See, if we all confuse fat with uh, healthy. It's okay. not the same, you know, uh, thing. It's not the same thing. Fat does not mean unhealthy, and a trim, toned, six-pack body does not mean you're healthy. You know, okay. yeah. that's that's aesthetics. If you need to do that, if you need a six-pack. If you're a model, or you're, if you're an actor, or if you're doing a role, yeah. go ahead, you know, that's, yeah. then it's important. But don't yeah. kill yourself for a six-pack if you yeah. don't really need it, you know. Just be healthy, and that's enough. Who's your best actor friend and your best actress friend in the industry? Best actor friend? Uh, well, I have many. I have, uh, uh, there's Uday Chopra, there's Kunal Kapoor. Okay, and uh, one reason everyone should go and watch Guzarish. I received a gift from this film. Yeah. And I think... Uh, Pass it on. That's, that's, that's what... Uh, uh, the film carries within itself. It's, there's yeah. a gift for everyone. So everyone's going to thank you for the gift, and we're going to thank you for the, the gift. The gift is yeah. just, you know, the yeah. smiles, yeah. yeah. You know, as I said, no, no matter where you are, yeah. no matter what you're doing, no matter what your problems are, mm. you will smile. Mm. You will smile and you'll say, it's okay. You know, I can do this. Life yeah. is good. Looking forward, Ritik. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks.